Colbert, though, is just completely out of touch, and the fact that any of his audience would agree with this is absurd. Well, here's the thing. He's saying the quiet part out loud. Just so you know, this is a guy who gets on calls with people in this administration. This is the guy who advertised for vaccines, right? Moderna, this was a glorified ad cloaked as a sketch. And I know that because we do glorified ads cloaked as sketches. Dave, Dave Landa, how are you? Ahoy, good. How about you? Well, I'm okay, but we're going to uh, get into Stephen Colbert here. Oh, cool. And I know you're not a fan. No, huge fan. Oh. I, I saw him read a, a poetry at Carnegie Hall against Trump. It was great. Yes. Mm. Slime poetry or? It was the worst thing I've ever seen, Gerald. <laughs> you ever been to an open mic night and see someone go up and do slam poetry? Uh-uh. Now imagine. I leave. It's sort of the burlesque dancer of the comedy world. Like the burlesque dancers oh, are yeah. strippers who couldn't make the cut. Yeah. Slam poets are comedians who couldn't make the cut. Yes. It was, I went to see Nathaniel Rateliff and uh, Jason Isbell, lead singer and the lead singer of the Black Crows. And now came Stephen Colbert to do a, a poem called The Mockingbird. Oh, uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, Dave, there you uh you can pick up the names you dropped. So <laughs> No, I, I didn't meet them. <laughs> oh, oh, I paid a ticket to see them. Oh, okay. <laughs> weird at them. Uh, but if I did have that, I wouldn't yeah. drop them all the time. Oh, I'd yeah. be like, hey guys, you know who I've met? <laughs> but uh, yeah, he came out and sang a song, or sang, did a poem called The Mockingbird about Trump. Oh, yeah. And it was even, it was for t t uh, a thing to free Tibet or whatever crap. I'm not sure where Tibet stands, but something about <laughs> Tibet. <laughs> They, and uh, afterward, they immediately banned him. Every yeah. liberal in Carnegie Hall was like, oh, like everyone was uncomfortable with what he did. I agree with what he said, but oh, that was terrible. President. No, it wasn't. I didn't agree with anything. It's no, them, he the wrote liberals. a poem. The liberals. A few people are like, I should have gone to the deli. That's right. You went to the hall. I think Joy Reid should get into wrestling now that we know she can take a fall. Yes. <laughs> but only male wrestling. Yeah. Well, it's a gender bender with wrestling. We don't know anymore. Yeah, okay. we don't know. So this is something that Stephen Colbert said either yesterday or the day before, depending on when you're watching this, uh, or depending on my timeline. I believe it was the night before last. Yeah. Mm. One of those things. I'm just trying to soften the blow here. It's a, psych it's a psych psychological term, right? They use it in psych front loading. Yeah. It's pretty bad. And if you work to support a family, you're probably not going to be thrilled. And by that, I mean you're going to want to punch a hole through the entire world. Here's Stephen Colbert letting you know just how virtuous he is in paying higher gas prices. Since the invasion, oil prices have skyrocketed. Today, the average gas price in America hit an all-time record high of over $4 per gallon. Okay, that stings, but a clean conscience is worth a buck or two. I'm willing to pay. <laughs> Applause sign. Yeah. It's important. Right. It's important. I'm willing to pay $4 a gallon. Hell, I'll pay $15 a gallon. Wrong. Because I drive a Tesla. Mm. Oh. Now, I mean, the term tone deaf is thrown around quite a bit, but he just said to an audience of largely middle class people who were sitting out in the freezing cold waiting to get into that studio that uh, oh, I'll pay $15 a gallon because I drive something you can't afford. Right. I'm, I make $16 million a year. Is that what you said earlier? It's fifth, between 15 and 16, which yeah. just makes me mad. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, it's disgusting. But also, they're clapping because there's a sign that tells them to, because yes. no one on earth agrees with that. Yes. Yeah. That's the only sign people respect anymore, I guess, that and the no smoking sign on airplanes. Yeah, I wonder what his jet takes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he has a Tesla jet, Dave. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Of course. Yes. Yeah. No, he said, I, I'm willing to pay. By the way, how's your Tesla powered? Mm. Not only is your, I mean, he's in uh, he's in New York. Is it powered with the smell of his own farts? Yeah, I bet he'd love that. Uh, he would. Yeah. Well, the problem is he wouldn't power his Tesla because he'd just be he'd, he'd use all the fuel. Yeah, that's true. He's like, ah, oh, like, I keep huffing it. It's your own brand. Oh, I'm Jeez. the best. Well, this took a. Time. How are you gonna power it? Also, think about this. People don't really. We are. We are light years away from being, a, if everyone switched to Teslas tomorrow, and right. I think Teslas are cool cars. I like Teslas. They're yeah, made here yeah. in America. I love Teslas. I did a whole segment with the Hodge Twins on Tesla where I said my mind was changed. I was wrong about Teslas, okay? I want to be clear about that, but if everyone switched to Teslas or electric cars tomorrow, our power grid couldn't handle it. Well, the owner of Tesla doesn't agree with him. <laughs> right. The guy who <laughs> makes the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You mean the evil oil baron from Fern Gully, Elon yes. Musk? Yeah, the terrible man who invented the or not invented, but perfected the electric. Perfected car, the electric, and car. everybody hated him for it. Yeah, and then of course they chastised him for smoking a joint on uh, Joe Rogan's show. It's like, yeah. hold on a second, you're pro pot and you're pro electric car, and now you're vilifying this guy. This guy who perfected the electric car had to leave California for Texas. Yeah. Well, I think the problem yeah. was he got rich. 
That's the issue. That oh, the he problem? was successful. Ah, oh, now we hate him, even though oh. he does everything we like. I was enjoying a joint with the one guy that everyone smokes a joint with. This right. is horrible. Oh. Yes. I mean, that guy smokes joints like Parliament, Joe exactly. Rogan. It's, yeah, why <laughs> wouldn't he hit a joint? That's the least problematic thing that he puts in his body. Joe Rogan smokes so much weed, Willie Nelson would say, I have to go home now, Joe. <laughs> that guy hit a joint and was like, you know what? I'm going to space. Yes. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> By the that's, way, that's here's a flamethrower. Play around with it. Yeah, here. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Woo Good lord, I, Colbert though is just completely out of touch, and the fact that any of his audience would agree with this is absurd. Well, here's the thing: he's saying the quiet part out loud. Just so you know, this is a guy who gets on calls with people in this administration. This is the guy who advertised for vaccines, right? Moderna, this was a glorified ad cloaked as a sketch, and I know that because we do glorified ads cloaked as sketches. <laughs> That being said, okay. they're in the same. We're not getting them from Big Pharma, from right. Built Bar, from you know, Wonderful. Walther. Walther. The dancing gas cans just lost their job. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we need dancing Colbert farts. Just, I just, <laughs> it's just batteries. And so much money. So his salary is more than the budget for. Ev- this includes rent, utilities, salaries for everyone. Yourself, yours truly. And he still gets half the viewers in the demographic that we do. Yeah. Well, and he also said something that not a lot of people resonated with. Like, I'll pay a couple of extra dollars to have a clean conscience. I'm like, oh, really? For gas? Do you understand what gas does to the rest of the prices in the market for the people who can't afford to pay more for food and for shelter and for insurance? All of that stuff starts to creep up. It yeah. starts to increase with inflation. Not to mention your clean conscience doesn't really mean anything when it would exist if you filled up your tank with dead babies. Right. Ouch. No, it's true. Can we do a trial period for late night hosts? Oh, and sure. believe me, it's yeah. not. Look, this is less people say they did it to Conan. Right, they did it. We should Conan. still have it. Now they rightfully did it to Lily Singh. Well, well, yeah. But this is the whitest that. guy on television, so I'm not protecting my ilk. Just to be clear, he sucks. Yeah, yeah. He'll we're pay. totally. I'm totally anti-white when it comes to Stephen Colbert. Yes. I don't think he He's should have that. He's incredibly white. Please replace him with any black person you can find. As a matter of fact, if you were to replace him with a black comedian <laughs> doing the white guy voice, I it prefer- would take. if I were to listen to it on audio, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Right. Yeah. I want to replace him with Sinbad. Yeah. Sinbad <laughs> doing the white voice. Think about using, I'm fine paying an extra one or two bucks per gallon. What? What would you say? What'd you say? I'd be fine paying 15 because I drive a Tesla. You really just, you haven't had your ass kicked in a long time, have you? I say get Chevy Chase or Bill Cosby. Yes, yes. One or the other. <laughs> yeah. The worst host of late night and just a guy who's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.